So today I'm going to show you how to make these fun fringe earrings and I'm also going to show you how to use our new cup chain ends. The tools that you're going to need for this project are a, round, a pair of round nose pliers and a pair of snips. You're also going to need a pair of ear wires, the cup chain ends, and the cup chain. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and attach my ear wire to my cup chain end. And then I'm going to take my round nose pliers and just close those up. I'm doing this first so I've got a little bit of something to hold on to while I'm adding the cup chain in. So this cup chain tube has a little line along the side so that you can just go ahead and take one crystal on the very end, put it in the tube and slide it down like so. And then this is going to be this first long one right here. So however long it is, is completely up to you. I personally like my earrings long and very blingy. So I'm going to make mine a little bit longer. I'm just going to snip it. And then I'm going to take the end and I'm going to slip it back in here again. And I'm going to hold them side by side and I'm just going to make this second one one crystal shorter than the longest one. Put it right there. And then I'm just going to repeat these same steps over and over again until I fill up the cup chain tube with the fringe. On our website, Cherry Tree Beads, we have uh, the different color cup chains as well as these ends for you to purchase. I love this project because I think this is a great project for beginners because it's so easily and quickly done. And it's also good for designers that are looking for a good holiday project because this is super easy to make lots of these in a short amount of time. And each time I'm just shortening it with one crystal. Make sure that when you put it on here, you make sure that the crystals are facing towards you so that they can be seen. And I'm going to tilt it to the side so they don't fall out. And I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to start pushing this down. And then I'm just going to take my finger and press it down and get it the rest of the way. And that is how you make the fringe earring. And then you just do the same thing for the other earring. And then of course, if you wanted to make a bracelet or a necklace, instead of attaching the ear wires, you would just attach the clasp at the end to finish it off. And there you have it.